Here's how to set up the MPK Mini Plus with Studio One. First thing you're going to do, you're going to check your profiles and, and you're going to quickly notice that there's no program for Studio One already pre-configured for this particular device. So here's how we're going to do it. Go to Studio One, go to your options. We're going to add two components, the keyboard and a controller. So you, normally you're inclined to go to a Kai and you're going to want to do the mini. No, don't do that. It's not going to work. You have to grab MPK, this number here, 496188. Grab that. And the only thing we're going to change is the receive from. So click that and grab the MPK Mini Plus. Now I already have mine set up. I just want you to see that it's already in there. That's step one. Once you do that, the keyboard will work. Here's me testing. I'm just going to show you the modulation wheel. Everything's working. Pitch bin's working. So we're all set. Next thing we want to do is set up the transport buttons. So you want to hit your play button, your record, and all those buttons you wanted to actually control your doll. So next we're going to do options and we want to set up a new control surface. So you go down to add and just grab a new control surface and you're going to name it Akai or whatever you want to call it. And just like doing the keyboard, only thing you have to do is just change the receive from. We're going to change that to MPK Mini Plus. And then you hit OK. And I'm just going to show you again that everything is set up. So double click that. Everything is, is configured. Now what we have to do is map. We want to do some assignments. So to go to your mix. And you look, if you look to the left of that strip, you'll see your two devices, your keyboard and then your control surface. So we actually want to open the control surface. And we want to map these transport buttons. So we want to better press record, play, stop, all those different things to control our doll. All right, so you got your configuration set up. You're going to click learn. So any button you press, whether it's a knob or anything, is going to show up once it detects it. So as you notice, it's a knob. We, we don't want a knob. We want a, a button. That way, it's, when you press it, it's off or on momentarily. All right, so I'm going to sign it. So what you have to do, you have to search for what button. So we just did a record button, so I type in REC. And we're going to go down into the transport until we find the word record. There we go. Click record. Hit OK. Now our record button will actually light up and start the doll when, it's, when we press this button. So it turns red. You look in the timeline, it's actually recording. Now I already have the play and stop button program, so you notice it stopped. But I'm going to show you same concept so you hit MIDI learn and you really press your button and those would come up blank but then you have to assign them so I'm just showing you how I went about to do the start button so for starting you, you want to type start and that's going to be under your transport and stop is under there as well and then you hit OK And here I'm showing you where stop is. So again, everything is under your transport settings. And once you finish that, you can do all the knobs and anything else you want to control. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, it was a big headache initially, but um, do a little bit of Google searching, a couple forums. Just wanted to make sure I recorded this video. This is the Akai Mini Plus operating with Studio One version six. Have a great day. Peace.